How can you become a social god if you're born a Neanderthal? You can't, but you can make steps towards it so that situations can be better. My hair is a whole fuck up mess right now. So I'll read what I wrote because I'm not just going to blab about it. I will blab as well because you guys enjoy the blabbing, but I'll put the pointers that I thought through, okay? So I'm not just saying brain garbage. <laughs> How to not be a social Neanderthal. This is intended for everyone. Sub five, normies and chads. Because when it comes down to it, when interacting with other humans, we all appreciate and dislike mostly the same ways of being slash acting. Many people have the idea that you're either born with social skills or you're born a social mongoloid. This is not the truth. Yes, if you were born more attractive, people will treat you better so you'll develop better social skills. Maybe your parents were more social creatures. If you're born ugly, people will treat you worse, so you will you will degenerate socially. That is true, but that's not the point right now. Many people are more socially skilled and socially aware, but so many people you see acting confident and owning the social floor had to take time to learn and understand their own way of socializing and others' ways, myself included. So, from being socially awkward and insecure, I went to being totally comfortable in social situations. Believe it or not, I can be more comfortable than that naturally born confident doing social situations because I built it and I learned. So when it's trained as a skill, you can be even better than someone who was, has the automatic knack for it. <coughs> okay? Chuka boom boom. The wrong ways people socially interact and the right way. Let me get into this. So, the wrong way. Closeted insecurity. I had that. I hella had that. And you probably have that if you're watching this video. You're insecure about the way you act. You're insecure about the way you look. You're insecure about the way people look at you. You're insecure about the way people look. You're insecure about a million things that overwhelms your mind. Everything goes crazy. And you're just standing there like, which is not good. Then, huge point. You have a judgmental mindset. No one's hanging out with a judgmental dude or chick. But this is for dudes mostly. <laughs> Don't have the judgmental mindset. It's so easy to, to acquire. It's so easy to act upon it. I have this issue too. I've had it. It's gotten so much better. But let's say you're in a group of dudes and there's a Chad there maybe in the group and you're just there sitting in silence and you're like, fuck this guy. I don't like him. It's natural. It's understandable. Your, your, your genetics is like, fuck this guy. He's removing my opportunity to get women and stuff. I don't like him. Don't be judgmental. It's not good. It's gonna mog your own mind. It's gonna mog the way you feel. It's gonna send bad energy and bad vibes. People won't like it. Then, feeling singled out. I know this feeling well. You're in a new class. You're in a new group of social friends and stuff. Man, I'd be so quiet. I'd be sitting in the corner. I'd be like trying not to make eye contact and stuff. It's bad, but guess what? Many people feel like this naturally on new social situations. I wrote feeling singled out like a plastic bag floating in the wind. <laughs> so cringe. So, the right way. Interacting with a happy and open countenance. What's a countenance? It's a way of being. It's the way your face portrays itself or how you portray yourself through your face, I'd say. <clears throat> it's super important. It's super important that you come with a positive countenance. When I meet a new group of people or stuff like that, I don't be like the chat and I'm all silent and stuff. Maybe if I'm in a really bad mood, I'm not feeling that day. But generally, I'm smiling. I'll say hi to the Stacy, to the Becky, to the Normie, to the chat and everyone. Being like, Enjoying meeting them. I feel like I act like I'm happy to see them Showing interest in the other person fundamental. This is such an important thing actually acting interested Let's say you're talking to Chad or Stacey or Becky You're not just half listening and shit or thinking like fuck this guy or stuff You're like damn this guy seems interesting even if you're not interested try and become interested and believe it or not You will actually build interest for that person and people love talking to a person who's acting interested in what they're saying And what they're doing people love it it's not only about coming off cool and being the loudest person in the room. It's also what's fundamental and people prefer in a way is someone who listens to them when they talk, someone who, who they enjoy being there, who makes them feel good and stuff. It's important to learn also how to socialize and to put your viewpoints, but it's a start. It's a start guys. Then reacting, reacting. You can mirror people. If someone's talking, you're like, damn, or stuff and putting a little bit of reaction adds a spice. It's like adding the spice to the dish. That shit's important. Engaging in the conversation, holding to one's frame slash beliefs without putting down others on beliefs. So 
if someone's talking like blah, 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 blah about liberal views or conservative views, you can put down, okay, politics is a bad example, but you can put down your own point. You should stand up. People respect someone who stands up for their own point, their own views without putting down others. I have, I make this mistake a lot. I'll just slap down the other person's point of view. Hell no, bro, that ain't it. <laughs> Breaking physical barriers, super important. This is a more advanced step. Even with dudes, you can do it, believe it or not. I'm not sure how it is in America. It doesn't matter when I had American clients when I was directing in the hotel, I'd be breaking physical barriers with them as well, with any sort of people, girls or guys, putting the hands on the shoulder, giving a hug when you say goodbye and stuff. It shows confidence. It really shows confidence that you're in ownership of your body in the situation. Then ending the interaction with a positive and graceful countenance, grateful countenance. So I'm so happy I could talk to you, dude. It's been so cool. It's been nice meeting you. Hope to see you again around. Authentically as possible, of course. People appreciate that. Starts good, ends good. If you are you learn good enough, the middle time is good as well. <laughs> then, I'll say to end the video, things that negatively affect social ability and things that positively affect social skills. <laughs> Bad, porn, don't need to explain. Slothfulness not being physically active at all, you're just laying in your house all day just munching, not being comfortable with oneself physically. What you deem bad about yourself, others will deem bad about you. No one cares if you're fat, have a big nose, you're balding, or have a lazy eye, only you do. This doesn't mean your looks don't affect the way people treat you subconsciously based off how you look, halo effect, but still, people, it's not a, such a big deal to people as it is to you. It really ain't, bro. Things that positively affect social skills. Gym, because you're confident with your body. When you're confident with your body, you act more competently in general. Self-control, self-explanatory. If you have self-control, maybe you do meditation. I don't do meditation, I pray, but that's a form of meditation, I believe. You're more in control of yourself, of your mental frame. Therefore, when you engage with people, you're holding more frames so people are more comfortable around your presence. Then, being lighthearted, not being too serious and stuff being joyful, joking around. Most importantly, socializing. That's the last point. The most important is to socialize. How can you train a skill? I mean, how can you learn a skill or better if you're not training it? Not only online on Discord and shit like that, you have to have face-to-face -face encounters with friends or stuff like that. They invite you to a place. Take the opportunity and try to engage and follow these steps as best as you can. I'm no guru, but I definitely learned from going to someone who was super awkward socially to being pretty damn good at socializing. I mean, in a hotel, talking to clients, organizing things, organizing events and stuff. So I'm blessed in that regard. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found some of these points useful. I came with a little bit more energy this video because I also recorded a video with Bonnie, so I already got straight into the mood. And it's pretty damn hot as you can see, I'm sweating. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Bye.